I was about damn done. Oh wow. All right, I'm done with the morning to afternoon shenanigans. All right. Oh, and uh, let me take a dump first. All right, I'm done beating around the, the bush and all that kind of stuff. All right, enough with the shenanigans. Let's keep on going. Let's talk about whatever stuff we got going. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so... Oh, I got to get to my login bonuses. Okay, let me go... Snap. I got to go in uh, newtaku.net and go into uh, my old Sawari Island and then go into my Flower Night Girl and... Alright guys, today I'm gonna be drinking on the coffee while I'm at the same time going to be talking about Microsoft Windows because uh, after the uh, Falk Raiders update and of course the updates and the shenanigans we'll, we'll go through what's going on, alright? Now Microsoft Windows is an operating system and of course, when it comes to operating systems, they're like the hugest important systems around here. Basically, with Microsoft Windows, you have access to apps, documents, and all the files, and all that stuff. So basically, the operating system is like a little interface to where you're going to be doing something. But however, it is very crucial, because that is your interface you're stuck with. If anything goes wrong with Windows, you're... <sighs> however... Windows is very, very highly, highly crucial because it's an operating system, and if one thing goes wrong with Windows, you won't be able to access your files on your computer, you won't be able to access your apps and all that kind of stuff. Alright. There are other operating systems out there, like Mac has, when it comes to Mac, they have their operating system, and when it, has, when it comes to Linux, it's a free operating system. Okay, but however, this doesn't hide the fact, and the biggest thing where I'm going to go ahead and say this is Microsoft Windows is the highest recommended to the point where it is required for a specific reason. Especially for PC gamers, which is going to be... Alright, up front, this video is centered for when it comes to, like, PC gaming, but however, it's going to be sometimes when it comes to outside PC gaming and all that kind of jazz. But however, we're, we need to start talking about, I think it's more of something that floods into the PC gaming, but also, everybody's equal on this one. Microsoft Windows is the highest recommended to the point to where it is entirely required because of the many, many, many apps and games and files and all that stuff that require Windows and will not work with Mac and Linux. Especially, I have a sneaking suspicion that if you install Linux on your computer, NVIDIA is not going to have drivers available over at Linux. And I highly doubt, and I'm going to say this straight up, I highly doubt there's probably going to be drivers on Mac OS. NVIDIA graphics cards, you're going to need the Windows. However, I may be wrong. Alright, maybe we could see, uh, maybe you could download the drivers that get your graphics cards working on Mac or Linux. I could be wrong. 
But, however, the, there's a lot of games. A huge, 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 huge library of games and applications and software that basically require Microsoft Windows only and will not work with Mac or Linux. Microsoft doesn't seem to pay attention to that fact. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they, they've, they've done this themselves and yet they don't pay attention to what they've done quite a lot of times. Now, a lot of you guys may seem to end up noticing when it comes to the operating system, there's going to be this one good, and then the next one that releases goes bad, and then the next one that goes good, it goes bad. Now, let's think of, like, an example. Windows XP, everybody loved it. Windows Vista, everybody got pissed at it. Windows 7, everybody was happy. Windows 8, everybody was fucking pissed. And then Windows 10, everybody is happy with it. The latest operating system is Windows 10, and Windows 10 is highly, 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 highly the mandatory Windows, if not the latest. Here's the thing. The, the new people are shifting their gears. People are straight up abandoning Windows 7 and abandoning Windows 8. They're abandoning Windows 7. Everybody's been like telling everybody, you gotta switch to Windows 10. Everybody's getting told they have to switch to Windows 10 in order for something to work and pretty much the new and especially If I remember right Everybody's I think games are starting to be like hey go to Windows 10 And then yeah, everybody's being told to go to fucking Windows 10 upgrade to Windows 10 and basically it's actually really really helpful that Microsoft offered the ability to pretty much permanently upgrade your OS to Windows 10 so you can upgrade so I upgraded mine so this is how I got my Windows 10 I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10 as offered in that free update it lasted for like about a year after its release so that's good there's a lot of people that like Windows 10 I like I personally enjoyed Windows 10 uh, I had some issues with it, but however, when I had to reinstall Windows, everything got fixed. Um, everything that I had complaints with got fixed. Well, everything that I had that I had a huge problem with is gone and out of my way. Uh, I guess that I think what happened was the minor issues, the issues that I had with Windows 10, occurred when I upgraded it instead of reinstalling, or instead of installing Windows 10. So when I upgraded straight up, then, then there was problems. <sighs> yeah, I know, life sucks. But, uh, botched updates, that happens. However, some really enjoy Windows 10, some others kind of like it when they stayed in Windows 7, and unfortunately the fact that they're forced to go to Windows 10 kind of... It, it really, really, really fucking sucks. Alright, but however, the reason why people don't like Windows 10 should be addressed ASAP if Windows 10 is going to be forced to be like this mandatory thing and that everybody has to download Windows 10. Resistance is futile. All people must enter the Windows 10. Also, one thing for certain, and another thing you know, Microsoft does need to get their shit together when it comes to certain things. We're talking about Windows Update after the disasters. Everybody's going to be paranoid to go to the Windows Creators Update for Fall 2017 because of what happened with that previous update that went horribly wrong. And with that paranoia that I said, I don't blame them. Microsoft needs to figure out a way to combat botched updates. So like when the update gets pretty much botched, the patch that was attempted to be installed gets uninstalled and pretty much everything gets reverted back to the old version and everything boots up good. I think that would be a good idea to have that implemented. That would be a wonderful thing. But if there's going to be Windows updates that make people end up complaining about blue screen of death loops over and over, and happens to a much more frequent, then Microsoft does need to get their shit together. Oh. I can't say the S word because uh, YouTube doesn't find that advertiser friendly. Well, what I'm trying to say here that nobody's perfect, we all make mistakes, things can go wrong, it happens, I'm gonna say this, but there is a limit. Especially when Windows 10 is being pushed as this huge mandatory thing that everybody needs to go to and upgrade from Windows 7, 8, or Vista, or XP, 
all right, there is a limit. And basically, I had to learn that phrase, there is a limit, the hard way. Trust me. In conclusion, I'm stuck with the windows the whole road. I'm going to be sticking with windows the entire road. However, I am enjoying Windows 10. How Even though people don't like Windows 10, I can understand why. And pretty much, I think why people are not what people are not liking about Windows 10 should be addressed if this is this huge mandatory thing. Basically, people who are staying on Windows 8 or Windows 7 or Windows Vista or Windows XP, people who are staying in there, Microsoft is going to have to go and win them over. That's all. I'll be refilling my coffee, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video.